And the first thing, generally, the first thing that's going to hit the pavement are your hands. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Cruise Man out on my beautiful pearl white 2018 Honda Goldwing on a absolutely beautiful Saturday just about I don't know 11 days from Christmas just a gorgeous day about 62 degrees out no wind I'll tell you what I'm all in favor of global warming if it continues to give us days like this in the middle of December because this is really really the perfect day to ride appreciate you joining me today on cruise man's garage YouTube channel welcome back if you've been here before if not welcome this is the channel for everything Honda Goldwing if you love the Goldwing or if you love motorcycles in general you're in the right place Today I'm going to talk to you. Let me turn down my gloves. They're getting a little hot. It's actually too warm out to have the heated gloves and the heated seat. I'm going to put my... Today I thought I'd go over my five tips for staying safe on two wheels. These are just five things that I picked out, just kind of came to me. There Certainly there's more than five. But I just picked five I'm going to talk about today. They're not in any particular order. But five things you might want to consider when you're riding your motorcycle just to help keep you safe, keep you upright, keep the shiny side up. These are just some of the principles that I follow. And I'd look forward to hearing some of your tips on how you stay safe in the comments down below please feel free to share with us. I'm just running an errand today, so it gives me a chance to visit with you and talk a little bit about this subject. The first thing is tip number one, never drink and ride. I only ride when I'm sober. Now I enjoy a drink. In fact, most nights I'll uh, go in and have my little happy hour with a Crown Royal. Those of you who know me know that's my favorite drink. Or Canadian Club. In fact, I'm on my way to the liquor store to pick up a bottle of Canadian Club. But I don't have that drink and then go out and ride my motorcycle. And on the very, very rare occasions that I'm out on the motorcycle, and have a beer, which would be very unusual, but it, it has happened. I always wait at least an hour after I finish the beer before I get on the bike. Now I know from experience that drinking and riding do not mix well. I used to be part of a big Harley group here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and every Wednesday night we had dinner rides where we went to a different restaurant. And I would see these guys putting back four or five beers, and they go out 8 or 9 o'clock at night, 9.30, get on their motorcycle, go home. And I'll bet there were at least three occasions that I can think of, probably every month or two, somebody would have a really bad accident on the way home. Now, I can't swear to it that it had anything to do with drinking, but it does seem a little coincidental. So that's my number one tip. Don't drink and ride. My number two tip, and by the way, just let me mention this. The irony of me motovlogging while talking about safety is not lost on me. Because motovlogging while you're riding a motorcycle is certainly not safe. Because it is a distraction. And uh, I just want you to understand that I, you know, I know that. But my second tip is, I try to not ride at night when it's dark out after, you know, in the summertime it'd be probably 8 or 9 o'clock at night. In the wintertime it's about 
five thirty or six. Especially on the weekends. Now I do ride during the morning in the dark to go have coffee because it's still dark out when I leave early. But I usually take back roads and I'll tell you why. There are just too damn many drunks out on the road at nighttime, especially on the weekends. So for those of you that go out and ride your bike, if you live in a city, now if you're out you know, in a small town, rural area, it may not be as big a deal. But if you live in a city where people go out and party on Friday and Saturday night, you get out and you ride your motorcycle at midnight or one in the morning, man, that's just dangerous. So for the most part, I don't ride after dark. My third tip is I always wear safety gear. I never throw a leg over this motorcycle without my armored jacket, my helmet, my gloves, and my riding boots. And most of the time, admittedly not all of the time, I have on pads from Bon Armor underneath my riding jeans. Sometimes I just wear my dragon jeans. That's something I have to get a little better at, that I have to improve on. I should have uh, armor all the time on my legs, but admittedly, I'm not perfect at that. I do sometimes just go out with my jeans on. So the gear is important. Don't forget gloves. Gloves are very important because even if you're at a stop site or a stoplight, and something happens, you maybe hit some gravel and you go down, you could be going two or three miles an hour. You know, you can really tear yourself up on gravel or on asphalt. It, you don't have to be going fast. And the first thing, generally, the first thing that's going to hit the pavement are your hands. So that's why leather gloves are very important. At least the palms should be leather, in my opinion. Now the fourth thing, my fourth tip, is don't get in a hurry. Take your time. I always try to ride the speed limit. I don't even mind if I ride under the speed limit. When I'm on my motorcycle, I'm not in a hurry. And I'm not one of these guys that when I buy a Goldwing, I want to know if it'll go 115 miles an hour. I don't. I didn't buy a Goldwing uh, to you know, for speed. I bought it for comfort and I bought it for utilitarian purposes and for enjoyment. You know, if you want to know how fast your motorcycle will go, go to the track. But don't go 90 or 100 miles an hour on the streets or the highways. I was uh, in traffic the other day. I was in my car and a sport bike came by us so fast and so loud, it scared the hell out of me because he came out of nowhere. He passed me on the left. And he was just zipping through traffic. You know how you've seen it. And you know, they kill one about every day in the summer here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I just wonder how many motorcyclists die because they're doing stupid stuff like that. Now, sometimes you have to drive over the speed limit in the Dallas-Fort Worth area because here, if the speed limit's 70, everybody's driving 80, 85 miles an hour. So there are times where you have to, just to kind of stay safe, you have to keep up with traffic. But I don't like it. And that's why when I'm on a road trip, I prefer taking the back roads, the smaller highways. I don't like interstates. I don't like to be next to a truck, a big semi with all the tires going by me and you know I know people that have been on a motorcycle and one of those tires has blown right next to them and rubber comes off that as that tire disintegrates and let me tell you talk about a nice way to ruin your day has any have any of you had that happen have you ever seen a tire come apart on a semi in front of you while you're on a motorcycle if so put it in the comments down below because I know it can get very exciting very fast. So I try to avoid interstates if I can. That's not one of my tips, but maybe I'll save that and talk to you about it at some other time. My last tip is education. Always be learning other ideas, other tips on how to stay safe. And I'm going to give you a simple tip right now. 
if you are not subscribing to MC Rider's YouTube channel, uh, you're really missing out because MC Rider focuses on motorcycle safety. And he has a lot of experience with motorcycle safety and training. He's written books on the subject, I believe. But I know his YouTube channel is pretty much dedicated to the subject of motorcycle safety. So I go to MC Rider at least once a week just to see if he's got any new videos, any new tips. It's always a good idea to stay up on the latest ideas, on the latest information, to put it and keep it uppermost in your mind as you're riding. Otherwise, you tend to forget. So those are my five tips for staying safe. Now, I have other ones, and I'll talk about other ones later on in future videos. I may even go into more detail on some of these tips in future videos. But I want you guys, when you ride, to stay safe. And especially at the holidays. Now, I'm going to probably be out riding my motorcycle on Christmas Day if the weather holds out at all. How many of you get a chance to ride on Christmas Day? Put it in the comments. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. And share this video with your friends. Share it on your Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. And thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.